Gentlemen, the task before you is a daunting one. You'll climb aboard your chosen method of transportation to your respective trailheads in the competing townships of Deming or Glacier, where you will run 32 miles of foot to the summit of Mount Baker and return. May God speed you all. The thing you have to remember is these weren't professional athletes. They were woodsmen. They were loggers. They were coal miners. One was a bed spring maker. There was another one that was a wrestler. And although they did run for a prize, they ran for their communities. They ran for their townships. These were very proud men. It was hard, no question. But it was, it was all, it was all, I'm sure, uh, just sort of a whimsical challenge to them. Oh yeah, let's go up there. Why not? This event was more how risky and how extreme could they make this event. In my opinion, I'd have to say it's it's probably America's first trail ultramarathon event. Poor bastards. <laughs> I couldn't imagine running 30 miles in these. That would just be horrible. Mr. Engberg, we we have a problem. The men who set out ahead of us to set up the snow shelter on the summit, they completely failed. We found some of them in camp near dead, and you have no idea what we're facing up there. 20,000 people presently on the street waited, waiting for the greatest marathon race of all time to start. There are reporters here from all over the country. There are contestants from all over. There are even Olympians. It's all costing money. Money that we don't have unless we pull this off. I'll go as far as any man to put on this race, but the conditions make it absolutely impossible to carry on even to the snow line. If you start men up that mountain now, you're sending them to their deaths. It's suicide. <laughs> Oh.